Hello, my name is Krishna from Best Engineering Project and today in this video I'm going to show you how to make Arduino color sensor project using TCS230 sensor module. So in this project I'm going to show you how to detect this different type of color using this module and this Arduino board. So before the starting please subscribe to the channel and click on the bell icon in order to get notification of every project that we will upload in this channel. At first, let's see some technical specification for this color sensor module. This color sensor module consists of total number of 8 into 8 array photodiode. That is total number 54 photodiode, which is divided into 4 color category. That is red filter, green filter, blue filter and no filter. Each category consists of 16 number of photodiode. And this photodiode generates frequency according to the color it detects. That is the color it detects is changed to the corresponding frequency. Hence we can say that this color sensor that is TCS230 work as light to frequency converter. At first, let's discuss about working principle of any color produce production or any color detection. As we all know that three color red, blue and green RGB wavelength are known as primary color because these can be combined or added together in different proportion to produce almost all other color. Let's take an example. White light can be produced by mixing 30% red, 59% green and 11% blue. Similarly, all other color can be produced by suitably mixing the primary color as shown in figure. Now we can conclude that every other color is either additive mixture or subtractive mixture of these three primary color. By using same method, this TCS color sensor understood or detect different color. Now let's see its pin diagram. It consists of number of 8 pin, 1 for power supply, BCC power supply, 1 for ground power supply, 4 for input and 2 for output. Input pin S2 and input pin S3 are responsible for color detection. For that let's see its truth table. If we make pin S2 low and S3 low then it will measure the portion of red color content in any object. Similarly if we make pin S2 low and pin S3 high then it will measure blue color. If we make both these pin too high that is S2 high and S3 high then it will measure the portion of green content in any object. In this way we can detect red, blue and green color. We can even adjust the working frequency for this TCS color sensor module. It support or is set for different frequency range that is of 0%, 2%, 20%, 100%. Input pin S0 and S1 do this job. For easy, let's see the truth level for this frequency selection. If we make S0 pin low and S1 pin low, then working frequency will be 0%. If we make pin S0 low and S1 high, then working frequency will be 2%. If we make S0 pin high and S1 pin low, then working frequency will be 20%. Similarly, if we make S0 pin high and also S1 pin high, then working frequency will be 100%. For this project, the frequency is set to 20% as you can see in software code. Now let's see the circuit diagram of this Arduino based color detector project. In this video, I am not going to show you how to wire the 16 to 2 LCD with Arduino Uno board because previously I had already made the video on how to interface the 16 to 2 LCD with Arduino Uno board. If you have any confusion while wiring this 16 to 2 LCD with Arduino, then please do watch. I had already integrated the interfacing video link in description section. Now let's talk about wiring this color sensor. As you can see here, in one side. There is 4 pin S0, S1, OE and ground. Similarly in other side there is S3, S2, OUT and BCC. BCC pin is connected to plus 5 volt power supply of Arduino whereas OUT pin is connected to pin number 6 of Arduino Uno board. That is 6 of Arduino Uno board. Similarly 
S2 pin is connected to pin number 5 of Arduino board and S3 is connected to pin number 4 of Arduino board. Now let's see the another side. S0 pin is connected to pin number 3 of Arduino board and S1 is connected to pin number 2 of Arduino board. The OE pin and ground pin must be grounded together. You can even leave or even you can even leave this OE pin not connected. After assembling all the component as shown in circuit diagram, now it's time to download the software code. Download the software code from the link given in the description section and open it in your Arduino IDE. At first, we have to read the auto frequency of different color in cellular monitor. In this part, you have to write down the frequency value when you place different color in front of the sensor. For that, open the serial monitor at the baud rate of 9600 as we have used 9600 in our code also. Then place any color in front of the sensor at different distance. As you can see here, I had placed black. Now at first, place the different object in front of the sensor. Let's say I'm going to put this black color in the place of this color sensor. Now you have to save two measurement when the object is placed far from the sensor that is when the object is far from the sensor then note down the frequency similarly when the object is close to it then here also note down the frequency now do this for different color like magenta violet yellow orange at two different distinct distance and note it down because we need these all value in code later now for black when i place this object close to the sensor i got the value of 165 for a red 184 for blue and 218 for green similarly if i place this object at higher distance then i get the value for red blue and green is 174 196 and 239 note this value because we're gonna need this value similarly do the same thing from for all different color for orange for yellow for magenta for red black etc one thing you have to note it here that you cannot use this frequency in your code you should measure the color for a specific object with your own color sensor then save your upper and bottom frequency limit for the all this color you have major because you will need them later it's time to update the code with your measured value for that scroll down below there you can see different if section here each if section represent each color that is total number of if section must be equal to total number of color you are going to detect you can see that I am only comparing to different color frequency in order to detect one color. Let's say for red, I am comparing red color frequency and green color frequency. For orange, I am comparing green color frequency and blue color frequency and so on. Update the value of if function with a major value. At first, I would like to update the if function for red color. Here, in order to detect red color, I am going to compare two different color frequencies that is red and green that take the red and green minimum and maximum frequency let's say my red minimum frequency is 50 and red maximum frequency for red color detection is 85 similarly green frequency for red color is 135 and maximum green frequency for red color is 185 color between these two frequency must be red the LCD will only show red if the value of R is between 45 and 90 and green between 130 and 185. Now repeat this process for all other color with upper and lower button frequency limit. Now your code is ready. Upload your audio in a board and your project is ready to test. Now after uploading final code to your Arduino Uno board, let's see the output of this project. Orange Black
red magenta violet and willow thank you for watching this video thank you for watching this making video on arduino color detector project if you have any queries or if you face any type of problem while designing this circuit or while making this project then please do let us know thank you